from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for January 2nd, 2018. Happy New Year, and I hope you had a great weekend and are ready to get started trading this week. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at two currency pairs, the EUR USD Euro dollar and the GBP USD British pound versus the US dollar. So let's get started with today's analysis and most important as always to use appropriate risk management strategies in all trade setups. Taking a look at the EUR USD on the daily time frame, we can see that much of 2017 last year now was an uptrend we can see that throughout the middle of the chart we went into somewhat of a range up here at the top of the chart you can see it in the blue box up here there was a period where the market found a comfort zone about the black boxes in the middle there where it got a little bit above it came back down got a little bit below it came back up and sat within the black boxes inside the big blue box for quite a long time now we see a challenge of the resistance highs take a look up here 1.2025 2065 the yellow shaded area that's at the top of the blue box top of the chart the last time we were here, the green circle, we challenged it three times. Three periods came up into that yellow shaded area, unable to break through the 2060s and turn back around and made a new low. Now, here we are again. The question of the day will be, will we see something different? You know, so far for 2018, which is a very short period now, we have seen the U.S. dollar on a sell-off. The, the ending of 2017 here at the beginning of 2018, we're seeing a, a dollar slump or sell-off, and it continues to pressure resistance highs. If it continues, of course, a break, a new change here, a break of 2065, would look for it to continue to pressure higher. The next resistance would be probably closer into the mid 1.22s. We'll look at that later on in the live trade room, but the main focus is that yellow shaded area. Let's zoom it in on that a little bit, and there it is. Let me maybe out one time. You can see those three times coming up here last time we were here and finding resistance turning back down. So we're looking for one of, evidence of one of two things. Evidence that it's going to break above 2065 and continue to go higher, or evidence that it's going to reverse from here and go back down. Just somewhat like what we saw last time a couple of shooting star or inverted hammer candlesticks over here showing an infusion of sell orders and the market went back down we don't see anything like that yet here so nothing telling us it's going to reverse and go back down nothing telling us that it's going to break and go higher yet so we need some evidence of that we'll talk about that later on in the live trade room four hour time frame again we get down here we don't see evidence of either one of those scenarios either a breakout above here which is attempting to do but hasn't done no evidence that it's going to reverse and go back down so we're waiting on one of those two factors really the first thing that you would always want to remember when it's at the high peak high like this is Remember that phrase, buy low, sell high. If you're going to buy something, anything, you often don't want to buy it at the highest high. It's not good investment, not good for your money. Buying at the highest high is not the best investment. Your your risk reward is not in your favor if you're buying at the highest peak high. So that would be the first thing I would say. It's a difficult place to buy it because it's at the highest peak high. We needed to break 2065 and probably make a dip before going back higher again. So we're waiting on evidence of a breakout or reversal here for the euro dollar here at the very beginning of the new year. Let's move on over to the GBP USD because it's very, very similar. We see two times here. We've been, again, much of 2017 was an uptrend here for the GBP USD. In recent weeks, we saw a little bit of a downward facing channel. We studied that in the live trade room, found some support and congestion down here up in the top right hand corner towards the trend line. Again, US dollar slumped the past three or four days has rallied the pound dollar all the way back into resistance highs. Let's zoom it in one time. Take a look. Black box back here. We challenge the 1.3585 or so level, trying to peek into the 36s, but 1.3585, the top of the orange zone holding as resistance here, eventually turning back down again. Not too hard to see. Not too long ago, 1.3550, the bottom of the orange zone capping resistance and turning it back down. So the black box green circle show us those same things. So it's the similar and same scenario that we just spoke about on the euro dollar. We're looking for evidence of two things. Evidence of a breakout, 1.3585, which would be new that it hasn't done yet. 
a breakout above 3585 and continue higher into the 137s, which happens to be our next resistance high up there, or evidence that it's going to do the opposite. Evidence is going to reverse and go back down. We don't have evidence to either thing yet. Let's take it down to the four hour time frame. Again, we need evidence. We need something, the market to tell us, is the U.S. dollar going to continue to to fall off, sell, slump? Is it going to break 3585? We don't know. We'd love to know, but we don't know. But last time we were here, it couldn't do it. Let's see, scroll back a little bit again where the black box is. Couldn't do it. Look at that. No real significant breakout here. Just challenged and tested it multiple times and reversed and went back down. So the black box shows reversal from here. The green circle shows reversal from here. We don't want to assume that it's going to break. We want evidence of a break. We don't have evidence of reversal yet either. Nothing telling us that it's going to infuse with sell orders and go back down. So we need to be patient here. Allow the market to tell us what the next move is. Is it going to break and go higher? Is it going to reverse and go lower? Both the euro dollar and the pound dollar looking very similar. We need evidence of a breakout of resistance or reversal for both of these currency pairs this week. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.